Hello, my name is Kushal and today I will explain how to create a table in an Azure SQL database. So I will explain these examples so that you will understand it better. I will explain various methods you can use to create a table. So let us start with the SQL Server Management Studio. Firstly, you have to connect to your Azure SQL database, enter the login credentials and click on connect. Once you are connected with the Azure SQL Server, you can see the server in this object explorer window. So first of all, expand it. Expand your database. Right click on tables. Click on new and click on table. Let us create a products table. The first column is product ID. Change the data type to int. Here you can decide whether you want to allow null values for your column or not. Let us say the second column product name and third column product price. Change it to real. Now you can press Ctrl plus S to save the table. Give the name for the table. Let us say products and click on OK. Now if you right click on tables, click on refresh and expand these tables. You can see that your table is created with the name dbu.products. So in this way you can use the graphical user interface of SQL Server Management Studio to create a table. You can also create a new table in the Azure SQL database using SQL Server Management Studio by executing a T-SQL query. You can refer to this article on how to create a table in Azure SQL database. I will leave the link in the description box. So this is the syntax of create table statement. You will define the column names and their data types and additional constraints inside these round brackets. Now let us see an example. So I will create a table named as dbu.student. Let us copy this. Click on new query and you will see the query editor window and you can just paste the code here and click on execute okay it is saying that the commands completed successfully now let us confirm that right click on table and click on refresh so you can see our table dbu.student is created in this way you can use the sql server management studio to create a table in the azure sql database now let us discuss the second method which is create table in azure sql database from the azure portal in the azure portal Go to your database, click on query editor, log in into the database and now you can write your queries in this query editor window. So in this query editor window, I will use the same create table statement that I used earlier to create a table in the Azure SQL database. I have already written a query for creating a table in this block. I will just copy it from here and paste in the query editor window and I will run this query ok it is saying that query succeeded so you can click on refresh tables and you can see we have created the table now you might be thinking that what is this drop table if exists so this statement deletes the table if it is already existing in the database so after dropping this table, I'm creating this table again. So in this way, you can use the query editor window of Azure portal to create a table in the Azure SQL database. Now let us discuss the third method, which is create a table in Azure SQL database using command line interface. So for this example, I will be using the Windows PowerShell as a command line. You can use the Azure PowerShell using this link. Just go to this link and the Azure PowerShell terminal will be opened for creating a table in the Azure SQL database using the PowerShell you will need a utility called SQL CMD this utility is already installed in the Azure PowerShell but you want to use your Windows PowerShell then you have to install this utility in your Windows PowerShell I have already installed this in my Windows PowerShell so I will use my Windows PowerShell to create a table in the Azure SQL database so let me just open the PowerShell copy this query and paste it in the PowerShell 
to create a connection with the database the connection is created and now you can create a table in the database using the create table statement so i have deleted the table named dbo.persons which i have created earlier so i will create this table again by copying this command and paste it in the powershell click enter and now type go to execute this command now in the azure portal you can verify if the table is created or not click on refresh go to tables and you can see the table is created here thus in this way you can create a table in the azure sql database using the command line interface now i will explain how you can create a temporary table in azure sql database to know more about the temporary tables in azure sql you can read our article where we have explained the types of temporary tables in azure sql and how to create them so let me create a local temporary table in the azure sql database when we create a local temporary table we append this hash sign before the name of the table in the create table statement for example if i have to create a table named local temp table so i will append this hash sign before the name of the table so let me just copy it and paste in the query editor window and run it as you can see the table is created and a row is inserted and the result set is also displayed so in this way you can create a local temporary table in azure sql database now i will explain how you can create a table from another table in azure sql database so for creating a table from another table in azure sql database we use the select into statement this select into statement fetches a result set from a table and creates a new table with the same structure so in my azure sql database i have created a sample database where we have a table named sales lt dot customer so i will fetch the top 10 rows from the sales lt dot customer table and insert it into a new table and the second statement is just to fetch the result set from the new table that we have created so let me just copy it and paste it into the query editor window of your database run the command and you can see that a new table named new customer is created storing the top 10 rows of the sales lt dot customer table so in this way you can create a table from another table using the select into statement in azure sql database hope you find this video informative thank you